Yeah, uh, you, you have to just walk back into it. And it's also a, a loading screen. That was amazing design right there. <sighs> Fuck. Oh, the standing in the loading screen? Shit. <laughs> yeah, we have to press E on it. Check off, something's happening over here. What can you tell me? Captain, we're reading a massive energy buildup on that ship. They've opened the second trip. Captain, they're shooting space down ways at us. the Helios device, the Gorn will be able to use these rips to attack multiple targets in the universe without warning. The outcome would be catastrophic. Then we better hurry up. My stun takes no heat. What this game? I don't think it's really doing anything, bro. <laughs> hey, you keep stunning them. I'll, I'll, I'll just hit them. Go. Get that one. <laughs> no. Fuck that guy. Sorry, we already got him. Game is such bullshit. Sometimes my stun takes like all my things. Sometimes it takes none. <laughs> Fucking hell, I think the game is broken. Come down, motherfucker. What are we supposed to be doing? I'm leaving. How many more of these things are there? This isn't hard, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> I think we should mention that. You can have that one. I won't take it from you. You're on the computer. They don't even care about us. Look at this guy. Look, Ken, I'm just gonna come right behind this guy. Tap E to take down. <laughs> what the fuck? What? He's like stunned and moving around. Shooting from his fucking. Oh my god. Like he's going putting it the floor and it's shooting at me. <laughs> Bullshit. A hey, bot. Hmm. Actually wait. <laughs> nice try, Hitler. Uh. <laughs> I tried. Oh, here we go. Can, can we actually hurt him right now? So if we can't, I won't waste my ammo. Oh god, are you kidding? It's, it's, the thing, yeah. it's okay, I have the ammo. Dark Souls. Fuck, Dark Souls. What? Oh, what the fuck? I was running away from him! And then I got back up and I'm like, oh, whoops, I was supposed to be downed. You know, it's it's Shatner, <laughs> it's it's Shatner style acting. That's what it is. <laughs> All right, here we go again. I have the arc door, so I'm just gonna like sneak in. <laughs> He's already at half health. Fuck you, I was moving. God, I was just about to boost your shields. I'm like, uh, wait, wait, he didn't even get my shields. Ah, casual. Yo, bro, do you even dock souls? Learn to roll. Wait, how'd that not kill him? Oh, because we're supposed to kill him over here. I can't make him disappear. Hey. Okay, so apparently, are they gonna are they gonna extend that bridge for us? It's already extended. Oh. I need another arc for us. Wish I had a lot of fire. Marauder. I don't know. Fucking boring gun. Where, where's the ammo stations here? What the hell? Cad? That thing over there. Cad? Oh. Oh. Hey. <laughs> no. 
He's yeah. friendly gone. Why'd I, I you got, kill him? I got my all, all my ammo back for the arc thrower. I, I I use it purely for the secondary fire. We're running out of time. Yep. Running out of time until what? <laughs> yeah, Enterprise is kaput, I guess. Oh. I mean they're shooting rifts at us or whatever. I hate rifts. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Stop running around while you're stunned, motherfucker. <laughs> hey, I stunned something. Alright, there we go. We got him. <laughs> How many fucking stuns do you get? Like, seriously. Uh, you wanna count them? Alright, you ready? <laughs> so, as many as you want. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, we're like the polar opposites. You get, you get like basically rapid fire stuns. However, you can't, you can't, you don't get a one shot stun. <laughs> Which do you prefer, Ken? I think I'm probably consistent stuns because like it's bugged now. So I have like a bit of stun, but it's, is that uh, the final boss? Uh, probably. Nah. He's just not one of those big guys. What? It's okay, because I've got infinite ammo. He, he just disappeared. D is there a corpse here for you? To boldly go where no one has gone before. Nope. I shot him too hard, I guess. <laughs> he just needs to... I think he... I think he went over here. Actually, you know, someone else no, he's, he's gone. I, I was shooting at him, and then like, oh fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. There, it's it's that. This is the worst hack. Out of every out of every hacking mini game I've ever played in any game, this the is the worst shock. one. You're right, I would have played the Bioshock pipe mini game. I would have. Fucking the pipe mini game, at least, was like you know semi entertaining. We have found the device. What the hell are they doing to her? I believe the Gorn are somehow forcing her to operate the Helios device. We need to get her out of there. As long as the Helios device is operational, we will Slide be unable him. to beam out. <laughs> and we've got Stop. to take it out. We will need to overload those plasma transducers first. Sounds good. What's a plasma transducer? Those pylons. Why didn't you just say that? Ken, I just want to mention something. You were, we're on a ship, right? Yep. Why are I why is there a rock and thing here? Uh, cause of Halo. Oh, yeah, right. Like I'm, I'm, I I'm the fact that it's like no, no, it's like okay, the world's about to end or something. Hey, can, you gotta do this. Can, can, come here, can come here. Can come here. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get, can I, okay, when I watch this in the fucking LP, I want music over this. <laughs> Better be some good music too. Okay. Swagger walk music. All right, all right, I, I got the just the thing. Trust me. <laughs> all right, let's see what, what what's with these pilots. Oh, I got a mind meld. Hang on. Leave, leave put up my protection. Let's get hack stuff. Hey, you wanna watch? <laughs> watch you mind meld? No. Hmm. I got one. Captain, we can now disable the Helios device. With pleasure. Wait, we're supposed to stealth this, apparently. Try stunning it. We got it. Did you stun it? No. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Hey, final boss. How you been? He's got his tiny. <laughs> I was just about to say that. Connected to the Gorn leader. We gotta take him out to get to tomorrow. It appears so. Fine by me. How do you like infinite ammo, Gorn Commander? Best, Scotty. I don't know how much longer you two have gone in here. Oh, I missed. We are aware of that, Mr. Scott. Shit, he has grenades. So do I. Hey, point being, this gun is okay with friggin' triple burst, infinite ammo, like, no heat shield up. Sing me to my sweet dreams. Can I get a shield boost? Oh, sure. Where are you? What? I'm reviving you from long range! What? Sweet! <laughs> How did that happen? Are you are you actually able to tricorder revive people? Maybe, maybe the dumbass can be a die die. Yeah, we're gonna have to try that. <laughs> it will feel dumb. Dude, we've, been, we've been spending this entire time just like coming out of the open doing it. To be fair, like every time Captain, we revive, you get tomorrow. I will take care of their leader. Are you sure? I got yes. this. As I believe you would say, I have a score to settle. Then get to it. Pull up my lightsaber. Scotty, get ready to beam us out on my mark. Captain, I have a lock on all three of you. Do it now. Wait, you had a score to settle. What were you doing? Uh, I ejected him with friggin' um... Hmm. You know at the end of Wings of Liberty? I mean, uh, part of the swarm? Yeah, you know, let's, yeah. Just, let's just watch his lame cutscene. Captain, looks like there's a whole other fleet of bad guys coming right through that second rep. Don't they ever give up? Status of our engines. They're barely holding on, but they should be able to get us out of here. Good work, Mr. Scott. Sulu, full impulse, get us through that rip. So I have to say, that guy there was Mensk. If you know what I mean. He exploded. That's, that's really? the end? That's the end? <laughs> really? So, so what <laughs> happened in your cutscene? Okay. There's a whole bunch of like dodging underneath his legs and like jumping on like riding him for a bit and then I injected him with some shit that made him explode. All so like I, I said, all I got to menced. see all I got to see was me like just picking up the girl and like and just beaming out really slowly and falling on the ground. It was really fucking lame. Didn't even pan over to like spock No, like, I didn't riding see that. The guy? No. That would have been so much oh, better shit. to see at the as the end. What the fuck? Kirk gets the girl and Spock explodes people, yeah. Well then. <laughs> Alright, so Mike, what's your final thoughts about this game? Well, you know, um, I guess people don't know this, but like, we have, um... Like, I'm not, I'm, I'm not I can't be disappointed, because my, my expectations coming into this were obviously rock bottom, and I got exactly what... You know what, we came in here, like, like we came in here with, with one intention, which was basically just to co-op a really shitty... Uh, a game, and I, I have to say that they've delivered on that completely. Like, I can't, you know, it doesn't like, like, people are like, well, you know, you hated, I don't know. Um, I'm trying to think of something in recent history that I didn't like. I don't know. I guess, like, something like Bioshock 2 wasn't good, or Quake 4. Quake 4 is a good one. I did Quake 4 and I didn't like it. We were like, well, it's not that bad, but, you know, and then they'll say, like, you weren't angry during this one, but, like, how can I be? Because I knew what I was getting into, basically, right? It's, it's, yeah, it's expectations like, are everything. It it's like when you get, like, say if you went from playing Starcraft Blue Road War to playing Wings of Liberty, it's like, it's an entirely different experience in terms of story, like, it's just not quite up to standard. Yep. Whereas this was kind of like, this is a movie licensed game. <laughs> Expeditions aren't as exactly high going into it. And on that note, I have to say, like, I... I feel like for the sale price, it was definitely worth it. Yeah, we, we, got, it sale a, price. we got it at a Steam sale, it was like 7 bucks or something, and we're like, that's that's my rule. We have a, basically a list of games that we're interested in doing, just because they have co-op and they're bad. 
like Aliens Colonial Marines is on that list. Uh, Resident Evil 6, even though some people, I think, do were people cra were, do people like Resident Evil 6? I don't even know. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, but I'm I'm not I'm not a Resident Evil player anyway, so um, I'm not much of a fan of that series. Oh, let's see if there's something at the end oh. here. Captain's log supplemental. The Federation is safe from the Gorn. For now. I'm starting to wonder if there's anything Spock and I can't do when we work together. It seems that the older Spock was right. Our partnership, our friendship, really is something special. Our mission would not have succeeded if not for the exemplary performance of my crew. They are all truly deserving of commendations for this one. I have recommended to both Starfleet and the Vulcan High Council that Tamar be awarded honors for bravery. I am happy to report that she will be allowed to continue her work in the rebuilding of New Vulcan. I know that she still blames herself for what happened, but hopefully, one day, she will realize that it was Commodore Daniels who deserves the blame for the Gorn invasion. <laughs> We've just been given new orders by Admiral Pike to travel to the planet Nibiru to help in some sort of humanitarian mission. Hopefully, this mission will include way less Gorn than the last one. Kirk out. He ripped on Daniels at the very end. <laughs> I got a monologue from Spock. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I guess we have to do the playthrough of this game. Uh, yeah. No. no. My credit sequence is, like, kind of short. Yeah, well, I, I can't imagine maybe we're involved with this masterpiece. Anyways, um, continuing on the thoughts before... Yeah, we have a whole bunch of games that we know that we're not going to be too into, but we're just going to do it for shits and giggles. And, you know, as I said, this was glitchy as all hell, and, like, it, it was funny all the same. Um, you know, I'm not too crazy on the movies. I think the movies are definitely worse than what they've done with Star Trek before. Um, it's so much worse. But it's funny all the same just to, just to make fun of it and, and whatever shit. So, so I think yeah. really what it comes down to is, would you recommend, like, if same price... Would someone should someone should get this? No. Honestly, I honestly, see, goodness, you, you've you've seen everything there is to see. Uh, well, yeah, I guess. What, by, the, by that, Monica. We we. But if you've, <laughs> but if you've just learned of this last part and gone, hey, oh, Star Trek, uh, we, it's, it's all right. Okay, but good. We we literally bought this for one reason, and it was just to make fun of it, and that's all we did. <laughs> And if you want to do the same with a friend, and I'm gonna stress with a friend, do not play this game single player. Listen, this this has this is all the qualities we were playing on the hardest difficulty. At what point was it difficult? I think the hardest part was was like the dodging of the asteroids and, and shit, which essentially is a QTE, but not a QTE. Yeah, but like, see, I still think ultimately, like I enjoyed playing this, not for the right reasons, but isn't that ultimately what you, you strive for when playing games? But fun for what reason do, would you recommend this though like it's like you can get way more money if you play if you put that money towards like a a, a free to play game or, or something you know like a world of tanks uh, path of exile mechware online mm, and may, maybe enough. maybe maybe like a better you know uh, cheaper like game on sale or something or maybe sink some money into tf2 there's so many options you can do with that kind of money and put it into this well, I was just thinking, like, what if a dev was watching this and just like a TF, like, they didn't like our game. Hey, you know what? I don't think I don't think they honestly cared. Like, who who? What, what's the company that made this? Uh, you weren't watching the credits. Nuk Nukamo Bandy Games and Digital Extremes. Okay, I've never heard. Namco of them Bandai. Yeah. Jesus. To be honest, I think they know exactly what they were releasing. Like it's because it, you know it was basically it was it was a low budget game. That's all it was. Like they knew, they knew it would have bugs. Like, come on, at the very end, you know, the difficulty curve and all that kind of crap. How do you not know? Actually, yeah, to be fair, I guess with the amount of bugs are in the game, like even, like there's a fun bugs, like uh, I don't know, Spock Gazelle falling through the world, and then there's the game breaking bugs where the phaser has infinite ammo because it doesn't okay. build heat. Me and you are not QA people yet. Like we tried like the very obvious things, like you know when we were going through those. Um, the, there was like these cave walls that were really close together and we had to kind of like <laughs> shimmy past yeah. them. And the very our very first thought was what happens if we start going into each other and we and then we start to kind of like 
do this weird like collision thing into each other kind of thing and, and, and then phase into the wall and all that. On another note, we're now looking for employment as beta testers. <laughs> Just send Mike a message. But but that's what I mean. Like they, they they had to have known about that. They had a whole list of things and they decided not to not to fix any of them and say, This is good enough, we're gonna make money. If we fix this, this is not gonna make us more money, because it's really not that kind of a game. There's a lot there's a lot of copy and paste too, as well. Like a lot of copy and paste. Wait, this game has an online mode. Hang on. This is what I was curious about. Is this game of multiplayer? Oh god, it has multiplayer. Sure, let's play multiplayer. <laughs> Real quick. Yeah, we'll so each you, other. Wait, wait, maybe this is just like what actually just co-op. Hang on. Oh. I think it's just co-op. Holy shit. It uh, is just co-op. I have to use my fucking arrow, like my arrow keys. What the hell is this? Is is this really co-op? Oh yeah, this, yeah. This is how you find co-op games if you're not like joining with a friend. That's how it works. Would it be game? Yeah, no, th no. There's no multiplayer for this. How would it even work? Oh, what's what's quick match? How do they have a quick match? Just like get a quick match with some guy. Like, just left for dead multiplayer. Just quick match. You don't care. You <laughs> go with. Just go with. I get to play as the Gorn. But anyways, yeah. So, yeah, uh, they, like, if it's got no multiplayer, then definitely not. I mean, freaking hell. Like, you can't survive on co-op alone. Like, even Left 4 Dead has versus. It's, that's, but that's what I mean. It's, that's not what they were shooting for, so, you know. As I said, I, I don't blame the game, because it's, like, I knew it from the beginning. It was a low-budget piece of shit, you know? It's, it's based upon the movies, and the movies are, like, movies are okay at best, you know? That's, that's kind of what I think of them. So, I think it's worse than the other ones, and they're like, riddled with plot holes, fucking hell. Even this one was, it dialogue was awful. But like, as I said, it's, that completely met my expectations, I expected it to be this bad, so. And I can't be mad. Can't be like, I wasted 60 bucks on this, because I didn't waste 60 bucks on this. Oh well. Anyway, close, uh, closing thoughts, Ken? Uh, closing thoughts, uh, if you really want to, if it's on sale and you have a friend who wants to fucking suffer through with you, I'd say buy it, but not for full price. No way. Yeah, like, I had fun with this, but not for the right reasons. We we paid like seven each for this, and oh wait, they had aim assist. Oh good, I have it off. Yeah, <laughs> I have right. it off too. They have, they, have, they have a fucking aim assist beside all this. I'm guessing it probably doesn't mean much when you're playing on uh, mouse and keyboard, but it, knowing this game, it probably actually does. But yeah. But, you know, I'll say that. You're right, you know. As I said, if, if you really want to have fun with a friend... Don't do this alone, by the way. The, the co-op uh, Spock is horrible. Um, only do it with a you friend. You have footage of that, right? You grabbed footage of that, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, there you go. And, yeah, that's basically it. It's, um... Yeah, you get, you get, you get pretty much what you expect here. So, don't, don't pay more than five bucks for this, so... Um, At least you can finish and play the game. <laughs> Barely. So uh, I hope you all enjoyed, and uh, we'll see you later. Bye. Send us games. <laughs> Don't, though. <laughs>